Hello, my name is Jody Harwood from the University of South Florida, and I'm pleased to be here today to present our transdisciplinary study on water quality and human health at uh, a tropical beach in Costa Rica. Like all studies of this magnitude, it takes a village. And so I particularly like, like to think, thank the uh, principal investigators on the study, um, including my bright art, Marianne Cairns, uh, and Aaron Simmons, as well as my graduate students, Javier and Adriana, and our collaborators from the uh, National Laboratory, AIA, and also um, collaborators from Biological Consulting Services of North Florida, who did the bulk of the pathogen analysis, George Lukasik and Bonnie Mull. MERI is an acronym, and so I won't repeat the Spanish, but basically it stands for uh, Environment Ethnography, Risk Assessment, and Water Quality. MERA is transdisciplinary, and what that really means is that it integrates the uh, feedback between social aspects and natural aspects of this, um, of this study, as well as um, how they impact and affect human health risk. And so in terms of social, we have the ethnography study that includes behavioral observations and surveys in the natural system, we have water quality assessment, including pathogens, indicators, and environmental factors. And then in terms of health risk, we have um, epidemiology and quantitative microbial risk assessment. And so all of these components feed back on each other. And our assessment and, and research will also hopefully lead to uh, conclusions that we will report back to local stakeholders to allow them to better manage water quality and better protect human health. The research obje objectives of MERA include investigation of water quality and pathogens, the epidemiological study at a contaminated tropical beach, the ethnography assessing interactions between humans and beach environment, the quantitative micro microbial risk assessment with novel methods of exposure assessment, and again, the report back to local stakeholders in consultation with them. The MERA study flow is um, intended to accomplish these objectives. And so we are collecting water quality data and assessing human behavior at the same time, and also doing the epidemiology study to assess illness. This will allow us to calculate the disease burden by quantitative microbial risk assessment, and again, lead to the recommendations which we can communicate to the stakeholders. I'll tell you a little bit more about the water quality study itself and the area. This is Hako Beach, and Hako is a town of about 5,500 residents annually, which swells to uh, 10, 10 to 20,000 during the dry tourist season. Uh, three rivers run through the town and directly to the beach, so Copay to the north, Naranjal in the middle, and Mandragal uh, to the south. And we sampled at each of these beaches, both at the mouth of the river and in the, in the very near shore ocean. Just another view of Hako showing you that um, to the east, the watershed is constrained by mountains. And um, again, the three rivers showing the sampling at the ocean and the uh, river sites. The study design included a pilot study and we did this to test our methodology. This was conducted in 2017 and 2018 in the wet and dry seasons. The human health study, including the epide epidemiology and ethnography, uh, occurred in 2018 to 2019. And the analysis of the human health study um, is ongoing. Um, the chart below shows a bit of the study design, sampling in the river and ocean for the pilot and the human health study, and considering the seasonal variables, as well as environmental variables like tides and rainfall, um, indicator bacteria and viruses and MSD markers and pathogens. And this is just a detail of the water quality study variables, um, showing again that we are measuring um, some physical parameters, chemical parameters, including pH and salinity, um, fecal indicator in terms of the microbial uh, parameters, fecal indicator bacteria, E. coli, enterococci, and fecal coliforms, 
The alternative indicators, clustered infrarfringin, F-specific coliphage, and somatic coliphage, microbial source tracking markers for sewage, HF183, and pepper mountain model virus, and then the viruses, norovirus, uh, adenovirus, protozoa, cryptosporidium, and giardia, and the bacterial pathogen, salmonella. The pilot study conclusion showed us that Hako uh, river waters were very polluted. They, over 85% of our samples showed an exceedance of water quality criteria. And also, uh, ocean samples were also polluted, but not as frequently exceeding water quality criteria, um, less than 50%. We had def definitive um, evidence of sewage contamination from very frequent detection of HF183 and PMMOV. Um, also frequently detected the pathogens Giardia, Giardia Cryptosporidium, Salmonella, and Norovirus, um, mostly in river samples, rarely in ocean samples. Um, among the environmental variables, rainfall, best predictive microbial variables in the rivers, and indicators were significantly correlated with pathogens in the river and the ocean. This graphic shows um, the uh, indicators that maximize correlations with pathogens in this pilot study. So to the left, you see uh, the freshwater uh, correlations, clustered perfringin, somatic coliphage, meal-specific coliphage, and PMMOV were cor best correlated with pathogens in the freshwater, whereas in the marine water, uh, the male-specific coliphage and PMMOV, as well as enterococci were best correlated. And these results are published uh, in water research in 2021. The human health study uh, results showed us that the um, pilot study results were no fluke. 94% uh, of the river sites exceeded recreational water quality criteria. Um, HF183 was detected in almost all of the samples, um, PMMOV in 100% of them. Um, HF183 in, was detected in 70% of the ocean samples. We didn't measure PMMOV. Uh, pathogens also frequently detected in the river samples. We didn't measure them in the ocean. Um, so Giardia, norovirus, adenovirus, and salmonella uh, quite frequently detected. Cryptosporidium, though, only detected in 4% of, uh, of the river samples. Uh, seasons, so wet versus dry, and, and antecedent rain, rainfall were the best environmental predictors of the microbial variables in the multivariate analyses. And uh, interestingly, we had uh, pathogens detected more frequently in the dry season compared to the rainy season. In the human health study, we conducted the ethnography epidemiology surveys on a cell phone app. We enlisted the help of over 40 undergraduate students from the University of San Jose uh, and also IEA personnel. These um, surveys were conducted or were presented bilingually, uh, so either Spanish or English speaking individuals could be interviewed and also provided a unique identifier for follow up with epidemiology surveys. So we're still analyzing the data from the human health uh, study but we were quite successful over 26 weekends in collecting, um, collecting data from individuals. So we conducted over 5,300 uh, surveys and this provided information on nearly 11,000 uh, 11, individuals. Um, we received over 1,000 follow-up surveys and so this was a 21.7% response rate. Um, we also, are using the ethnographic data collected to um, inform water, water volume ingestion for improved exposure access assessment in a novel QMRA. So I'll just circle back to the to MERA's trans transdisciplinary nature and emphasize that the, the synergy among these, um, these various areas of exploration um, should bring about recommendations that we can provide to local stakeholders in order to improve uh, water quality, beach, beach water quality management, and hopefully uh, decrease human health risk from recreation at the beaches. And I'd like to acknowledge uh, partners and funding, and in particular, uh, Tim Wade from the US Environmental Protection, Protection Agency helped us greatly with the epidemiolo epidemiology study design and surveys um, and funding from the National Science Foundation. Thanks everybody, bye.